Is Virginia set to execute an innocent man? Well, a high-profile author on capital punishment thinks so and came to Richmond to plead for clemency today. 8 News reporter Richard Rial has the story. In the film Dead Man Walking, Sean Penn portrays a condemned man who was indeed guilty. A rising morning my feet decided I'm a dead man walking. Susan Sarandon played the role of Sister Helen Prejean, who wrote the book, and today came to Virginia to plead the case of this man, Joseph O'Dell, who's to die for a rape and murder of a Virginia Beach woman. Mr. O'Dell's case raises questions of palpable innocence. Among those questions, a DNA test not available to jurors that reveals blood on Odell's clothes are incompatible with the victim's blood. The state will convict with DNA, yet a double standard exists when it comes to freeing an innocent man with DNA. Virginia is a national leader in terms of DNA. It was the first in the country to convict a man and sentence him to death. Timothy Spencer, the Southside Strangler, based on genetic fingerprinting. However, it has also freed two men convicted of rape that DNA later proved they did not commit. Complicating Odell's case, though, Virginia law, that new evidence cannot be considered 21 days after trial. If Mr. Odell's jury had gotten to hear all the stuff you're hearing today, would they have found him guilty beyond a reasonable doubt of the murder of Helen Shortner, much less sentenced him to death? It is a life or death question for Joseph Odell. In Richmond, Richard Riel, 8 News. Odell's appeal is currently being considered by a federal appeals court. Well, that court could bypass the state's 21-day rule.